What's up everybody, it's Tadra Call, and I was like really struggling with whether or not I wanted to talk about this topic. There's a new Lifetime series called Surviving R. Kelly about the victims, the co-workers of R. Kelly and all of these sexual allegations where he supposedly had sex with a bunch of underage girls. To me, when I was watching it, I saw a lot of things that really bothered me about our culture. I noticed this when the Chris Brown and Rihanna situation happened, that a lot of girls were still championing Chris Brown. That I saw so many people posting, Rihanna's probably crazy, she deserved it. And it was so insane to me that people were willing to give Chris Brown the benefit of the doubt rather than believing what they saw. It was really shocking to me and it really bothered me and I noticed it a lot then. But now that this has come out, I've been seeing legitimately people defending R. Kelly's behavior and it absolutely sickens me. This documentary is so well done. They go in and they interview all of these women and they give receipts. When you see a text message, when you see video footage, when you see something, when you hear a statement from somebody, from somebody saying something and 10 girls tell the exact same story it is mind-boggling to me that anybody could see these facts and still be like well I don't believe that he did it and I believe that they deserved it I follow Niecy Nash on Instagram religiously because she always posts amazing things that are super insightful super woke or super funny and she posted something on her timeline saying something like I don't want to misquote her but there ain't no girl fast enough to catch a man who's not interested in underage girls and I thought that that was like a very great great quote because there should be nothing that a 14 year old should be able to do to somebody who's in their 30s to make him want to take advantage of her. There are a couple of things. I'm the person that always likes to play the devil's advocate. When the story starts out, it's very sad to hear that R. Kelly went through so much growing up in his childhood. He was molested by men and women in his own family. And I think it's very difficult as a human being to overcome that. And that's why I think that being a parent is like the most important job in the world. It saddens me obviously for the victims first, but then I am sad for that person because I believe with great parenting, a lot of people would, would go in a different direction. As the optimistic person I am about humanity, love to believe that if any child is raised with loving, nurturing parents that not just tell them about what great morals and ethics are like, but who coach them and teach them. To me, they are the most important values that a human being can have. And I wish that more uh, shows that teach toddlers their alphabet and their numbers would teach children just about kindness. like. I think that is more important than anything that we learn in school and in public schools in this country. Part of my, my heart melted when I saw that this innocent child, R. Kelly, was not given a, a, a loving household and family that was able to shield him from the dangers of, you know, child predators. The other thing that really, really upset me is I saw online that all of R. Kelly's numbers went up. All of his streaming numbers, all of his sales on iTunes shot up after this documentary came out. I saw an article last night that R. Kelly performed at a sold out event last night and girls were in the audience screaming pee on me at the show. And I just think that that is just like, I just cannot believe that we live in a world where people would actually go and support this monster after something like this. Anybody who still supports this person is not somebody that I would want to be involved with. We have to, have to, have to take a stand to say that this is not acceptable behavior. We cannot go support his shows. We cannot download his music. But this is a man who was not actually in love with these girls. He had like basically a sex slave shop happening where people would be locked into rooms, not able to eat. Multiple girls would be in multiple rooms waiting for him to come in and have sex with them. This person is a dangerous person who should not be allowed to walk the streets of America with this name and this title. And it's not just him, it's everybody who is around him who saw something happening wrong and did nothing about it. As Janice Ian says, that still makes you a mean girl. And this person is not a safe person. You really need to watch this and really speak up when you hear things like this being said because without people using their voice and their opinion to change the world, we're never gonna get to a place where the world is safe. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please go watch Surviving R. Kelly. Take Ignition, I Believe I Can Fly, Bump and Grind off of your iTunes. I'm definitely going to take it off. Please, please, please go watch this documentary. Thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.